Hi, I'm uh, Tim Suther. I'm Axiom's Chief Marketing and uh, Strategy Officer. I'm delighted to be with you here today. Tim, what is the key message from the recent Loyalty 360 Axiom white paper, making every interaction count, how customer intelligence drives customer loyalty? Great question. We, uh, you know, we conducted primary research with uh, a broad cross-section of uh, marketers across uh, executives uh, and across those that had digital experience. It was a cross-section of B2B, B2C. So we really got this rich um, set of data about what uh, marketers are thinking about their retention efforts. And uh, the findings were, were actually um, a bit dire. Um, you know, we were asking marketers about their amount of money that they were allocating uh, to retention, the, the amount of money and resources in. So 60% of respondents spent 20% or less on retention and 70% allocated less than 20% of their employees to retention. And that was, uh, that was really, really surprising. And not surprisingly then, given the lack of resources and the lack of money, uh, many people said they were facing enormous challenges. Things like, I don't have enough budget, I don't have enough IT support, and I don't have the, uh, the right, uh, right tools. Uh, so that was really you know, kind of a, a stark set of findings uh, from, the, uh, from the research. Great. My name is Mark Johnson. I'm the President and CEO of the Loyalty Marketing Association. Um, what is the key message from the recent Loyalty 360 Axiom White Paper, Making Every Interaction Count? how customer intelligence drives customer loyalty? I think there are a couple things. Uh, the fact that people have a lot of data and that the simplistic models of describing customer behavior uh, most brands are doing, but when you get into the more complex issues of predicting and truly understanding the customer, there are challenges there. I think another interesting piece was the fact that brands are going to spend a lot more over the next two years on customer retention efforts. So I think it's a great time to be a loyalty marketer. I think the opportunity to create a unique dialogue with a consumer has never been greater. Uh, but the fact that brands really struggle with truly understanding their customers and taking the data from disparate sources and creating actionable dialogue or actual insight about that consumer is a big challenge. And I think that's, uh, that was very interesting to see. Thank you. What is on your wish list for tactics, tools, or technologies you would like to see incorporated in your customer relationship strategy? Great question. Um, so I'll give you just a little segue around this. I, you know, I think we live in the time of the empowered consumer. You know, our, our consumers today have unlimited choice, unlimited information. Uh, they choose when, where, how, and if uh, you know, uh, they engage with us. And it's had a devastating, a devastating impact on brand loyalty. You know, just 25% of consumers are loyal. Uh, another 25% express no loyalty at all. So what's my wish list? Well, let's start with being honest and authentic with ourselves about putting customers first, about solving for the customer, about using this data at our disposal to be able to create truly compelling experiences that enable brands to optimize value at, uh, at every interaction. Start with customer first, and if you do that and you invest in it, good things will happen. Great. What is your wish list for tactics for brands in terms of tools and technology? What would you like to see them incorporate in more of their customer relationship strategies? I think the baseline for brands is to truly listen to their customers. You look at the daily deal strategies, you look at these couponing discount strategies, Individuals want to feel respected by brands. They want to have a communication with that brand. They want to be listened to, not spoken at. And I think that's a big challenge for marketers because traditionally marketers have been very autocratic. They're top down. It's a CMO who's been in a position for a number of years who thinks he knows more about what the customers want than necessarily the customers may actually want. I think to truly listen, to have a voice of the customer strategy that works and is engaging is a huge challenge for these brands still today. And it's a very simplistic idea of that customer centricity and, and that, that unique dialogue with the consumer, but brands struggle with that. So I think taking a step back, making things more simple, and truly listening to your consumer is a huge opportunity for brands, but they still struggle with that idea. Great, thank you. Tim, how will data analytics impact your customer engagement, retention, and loyalty strategies? 
Another uh, great question. The, the short, pithy answer is profitably. That's how data will affect relationships. But I think there's really three big, big payoffs. You know, the first of which is by making your communications with your customers much more effective. The idea of connecting what your customers do or don't do in response to marketing stimulus is a big payoff idea. On average, for most firms, there's a 15 to 30 percent upside by doing that. The second area of payoff is by focusing on those customer relationships uh, that have the greatest value uh, potential. So we describe this as increasing the value of the customer portfolio. Again, if you have some customer segments that are worth more than others, then if you disproportionately invest in those segments, you will increase the value of your portfolio and consequently your, your company. And then finally, the hardest one, uh, but also the biggest payoff, is using all this insight to be able to uh, uh, protect your pricing in the marketplace. So many promotions today use price as a lure, so we start training our customers right away that the main reason they should do business with us is because we've got a coupon or a great deal. I think organizations would be much better off by focusing on those consumers who are likely to have affinity for the brand and really focusing on them and then nurturing that relationship throughout their, their life cycle. Um, so, you know, if you want world-class loyalty, it actually starts with who you target to engage in the program. Great. Thanks, Tim. How will data and analytics impact your customer engagement, retention, and loyalty strategies in terms of brand usage? Well, I think that the most important thing with data and analytics is uh, there's a phrase garbage in, garbage out. And being able to identify that customer, as I've mentioned before, is very challenging. But having great models, you look at some of the things that uh, uh, Axiom has done, the ability to take disparate data sources and make them cohesive to understand that customer in a more granular fashion is a huge opportunity. Just because you have a ton of data doesn't necessarily mean you can do something with it that's going to be proactive for the customer and productive for the company. The challenge is being able to create insight out of that data so you don't have bad analytics. I mean, having a ton of data, if it's not put into a good model, and organizations like Axiom do a great job of that, that's where the challenge is. So it's not having data, it's what you do with the data. How do you put the models together that, that show the granularity for that customer or about that customer? Great answer. Which of today's top trends will have the largest impact on future customer engagement and loyalty? For example, mobile, social, local, and why? Well, another great question, but I almost feel like it's a, a false choice. You know, does it taste great or less filling? I mean, the issue is, is that all of those uh, need to be considered. So the big macro trends are consumers are in charge. They choose when, where, how, and if they engage and we've got to orient our marketing strategies around that. Secondly, we are awash in data, and organizations need to have the necessary systems that can filter, you know, signal from the enormous amount of noise. Within loyalty itself, the actual strategies of loyalty are going to change. For example, not just earning rewards, but actually uh, burning, uh, you know, the rewards. Uh, there'll be uh, obviously great systems that have new forms of engagement like checking in and uh, rewarding consumers for non-purchase behavior. All of those really represent exciting possibilities for uh, loyalty marketers. Great. Well, Thanks. that was, uh, so in wrapping up um, the, uh, the session, uh, the loyalty uh, expo session, what an awesome, awesome experience and I think we're, I think we're at a seminal time in the business of loyalty. Uh, many firms are reevaluating what loyalty actually means to them, and as they ponder uh, their loyalty strategies, I remind you that we live in a world of empowered consumers, and we've got to orient our strategies and our loyalty programs around the infinite choice and infinite information that you know, our customers have to be able to focus on those customer relationships most likely to be, uh, to be valuable and to efficiently and effectively reach them wherever they are. Do that and I promise you, you'll make a lot of money. Great. Thanks, Tim. Which of today's top trends will have the largest impact on future customer engagement and loyalty? Mobile, social, local, and why? I, th I think it's a combination of, uh, of all of them. I think uh, potentially mobile, obviously, because that, that, that 
peace is always with you, the ability to know where you are, to be able to send you targeted messages, uh, the fact that they're highly opt-in, so uh, you don't have the spam issues, you don't have the issues uh, that you may have with direct mail or email. Uh, they're a double opt-in process, it's very protected. I think there's some reticence about doing payments on the phones, but being able to know where that consumer is, their proximity to grocery stores, to cleaners, to restaurants, will create uh, you know a very unique opportunity to engage that consumer based on what they may want. But there again, that data element to knowing that they may have a predisposition toward a certain type of food, or they're this price sensitive, or they're looking for this uh, aspect of convenience is very unique. So knowing where that person is, but having the actual insight and the behavioral attribution behind that is going to be key. Um, what do you think is the most important issue relating to customer loyalty and retention? I think that as we talked about too is, is listening to the customers, making sure the marketing communications are targeted and relevant to that, that, that consumer. Uh, you look at some of the things that JCPenney uh, just went through. So their new CEO came from Apple. They were actually emailing their customers up to six times a day. So this blast mentality that, that, that CMOs traditionally had has worked from a top line, EBITDA. It, it drives revenue, but at the end of the day, it doesn't drive engagement. So stepping back and, as I mentioned before, listening to the customer, making sure you have the processes in place, the marketing best practices in place, and using data to create and enhance and augment the experience for the customer is huge. That, that's the greatest opportunity. Awesome. Great. Thank you. Is there any other comments you'd like to make on the industry or events that are happening with Loyalty 360? Uh, as I, I think it's a great time. Uh, we're doing a number of research projects uh, going forward that get to the baseline of, of, of customer engagement, of customer loyalty, because loyalty is a process, it's a destination, and you have to understand that there's kind of pillars and cornerstones that influence that. And being able to understand where you are in that life cycle uh, with the consumer, being able to engage them and listen to them is going to create a very unique opportunity for that brand. Awesome. Thank you very much.